Hello, this is Hussam Hurani, and today we'll continue our lessons in time series. And today we'll talk about uh, VAR model. Uh, and we will give an example on stock markets, how to predict stock market. However, I don't personally recommend that you depend 100% uh, to really uh, uh, depend on the prediction in this model because all of the stock markets have other you know variables than only just uh, the open the close uh, parameters uh, of the stock markets uh, it has maybe political uh, you know um, effects it have it has maybe uh, some environmental maybe effects uh, the uh, the situation in the country that the stock market uh, there so there are so many uh, other variables uh, that depends on the stock market uh, prediction so don't depend uh, on this uh, prediction that i will explain uh, if you use it it's, uh, by your own responsibility but i recommend that you can add to this model uh, different factors and try to uh, get as close as to the uh, real prediction values so uh, i really don't recommend that you use uh, this in real money to buy or to sell uh, any of your stock market uh, uh, exchange things so let us uh, directly go into the uh, example i will just give an example simple example uh, i will use a file and i will use stock market that i downloaded uh, from one of the websites so uh, this is the stock market that i will uh, i will use Okay. so it has the open as you can see the date date is that date time uh, type and role is meta we have open uh, high low close volume and stock trading all these are numerics uh, all of them are features and the close is our target value so this is just for demonstration and not for a real stock market you know data set that you might use so let me uh, explain exactly how you can do some you know estimations or predictions uh, to this data set so i will first connect this to data table to show you the values these are the values as you can see this uh, close date uh, open high low uh, volume and stock trading and uh, the close is our target okay and the date uh, is the metadata uh, it should not affect the um the prediction uh, and as i as i explained before you might need to add more features into this some features that they are related to the uh, country itself the political situation the health situation the environmental situation the news about the stock market and the uh, profits for the certain uh, stocks so all these are some very important variables that you can add also here to get some maybe more close prediction more accurate prediction that than what we will uh, be showing in this example okay so uh, from here i'm gonna connect to a time series and from time series you can see that the sequential attribute is date is date so i will first show you uh, the line chart this is the line chart for uh, our values so i gonna uh, this is the open price let's go let's add also the um, the higher uh, or the this is the open and let's see the higher value also let's add another one uh, we added the plot to see for example the low or the volume this is the volume uh, and also maybe we can add another one which is trading so all these values are yani you can show all these values to see exactly what is happening with this stock you know uh, that you are uh, trying to understand over past for example three months or two years or or so on uh, and so on and so forth so this is exactly the first chart that you can see from this uh, stock market um, uh, data set the most important thing is we need now to do prediction so i'm gonna use var because i have multivariant i'm gonna use var model and there are different options uh, here you can use from but i will uh, predict just the five next uh, next things uh, for this stock market and to show you the prediction you just connect to data table and this is uh, this is the five forecasts this is the close 
forecast is 41.920, etc., etc., etc. These are the five, uh, and of course, it will give you other values. The prediction, the forecast for, for example, open, high, low, uh, and volume trading. Also, the low and the high per each one, as you can see here. You will get all this information from using VAR. Also, um, we can connect this to chart, line chart also, line chart, line chart, and time series to time series. And I will uh, make forecast to forecast. Okay, and as you can see, these are the uh, values, the five values you can find them here for the new one. Okay, and uh, also if you want, if you want, you can do prediction on only one one column. So you can connect this to Arima also. But, but before that, actually, before that, let's do uh, model evaluation. So I'm gonna do model evaluation, model evaluation. Okay, and I will connect this one with this one. And this is the model evaluation for our uh, time series. Okay, these are the measures, these are the values. However, if you want also, uh, you can just predict the ARIMA, ARIMA based on the closed value. So I will connect this also to ARIMA, which I explained in the previous lesson. Uh, and from ARIMA, we will predict uh, 10, uh, 10 values, for example. And you can actually uh, go into data table and see uh, the predicted values these are the predicted values the 10 predicted values as you can see but they are depending just only on the close values while var it took in consideration all other values all other values also you can connect this to model evaluation to see both arima and uh, and see this is the var and this is the arima and all these values you can see the measures for all these values also you can uh, store the values of the table so you can save the uh, data uh, to for example excel sheet this is for example save as and you can save them as excel sheet if you want okay so you can um, have all these values in your in your report also you can connect this to a spiral gram spiral gram okay and uh, maybe from this you can also uh, see the year per month or the day and see exactly what's happening with all these values in your data set this is the arima and this is the stock market uh, prediction uh, i will keep uh, this uh, data set in in uh, in the github so you can download and you can try as as, as i said before earlier do not use this in real money do not use this in real stock market exchange because I, as i said there are many other factors than these factors that they play major factors major uh, uh, major implication in the uh, uh, prices of the stock uh, exchange uh, uh, across all countries uh, as i said these are the factors like for example the political situation of that country the economy situation the uh, health uh, situation for example in corona or oh, most of the stock markets went down uh, also some news about the uh, certain stock exchange um, some stocks uh, for example the profit for that sto uh, stock is it uh, negative is it in positive so you can add uh, uh, many parameters here to try to predict real uh, values so please do not use this in uh, real um, uh, stock exchange this is just to for demonstration on how to use this in predicting uh, some values okay this is the lesson for today i hope that you enjoyed it uh, of course there, there might be some ads on, on the future on uh, orange data mining some other modules that you can use so um, uh, you can try many things that you want you can try your own data sets and see the results and um, we'll see you in our next lesson uh, until then enjoy the orange data mining